good. All right, MJ Duffy, uh, six under, opening round. Can you take us through today and kind of what was working for you? Yeah, um, best round so far this season, which is uh, very welcome. You know, long, long year so far, so it's nice to start off uh, this way. Uh, been putting a lot of work in on, on you know, simplifying my putting and, you know, even though today I could have still probably, you know, had four or five looks that, that lipped out. Um, uh, you know, I made a few putts, and you know, my my strength came through again. Driving the ball and my proximity was overall really good. So um, yeah, it's just we didn't have much wind, so it was gettable. And you know, I I like the wind, so I you know wouldn't mind the wind the rest of the week. So um, yeah, good start. How frustrating is it to have those, you know, small misses, but also promising that you know you're right there, a couple more shots. Yeah, that's that's been the challenge for me so far this season. I, I, my putting stats doesn't look very good, but it's not as, it's not what it really is because I've actually had a lot of good putting weeks. I feel like. But I've, I've been able to handle it well because, like, I'm, I'm having those real close misses. And, you know, instead of looking at the cup uh, half full, I've been looking at it half empty and just kind of trying to figure out, like, what is going on and having bad attitude, you know, on certain things. And, um, you know, so it's kind of just trying to get out of my own way and, and stop focusing on the results. So um, it is frustrating, but it, it's, it's manageable. <laughs> had seven birdies on the day. Any of those stand out to you is a moment where you're like, all right, could, could turn it around now. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I knew I was going to um, make a few, and, you know, I had a slow start. I had a 10-footer for birdie, lipped out on 10, and then same thing on 11, and um, bogey 12 and 13, uh, uh, made a par, but then when I got to 14, I was I missed the green, and I had a horrible lie, and it was one of those where it was like, I'm just going to swing at it because, like, I've – I, I don't know if I can get it out, and it went in the hole. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, you know, there is there is a hole somewhere there. And so, you know, the rest of the, I think the, the 25 footer I made on number number three, I just parred the par five, which was frustrating. And then I made that putt, so it got me going on the back nine. So I mean, I could have theoretically buried every hole starting at number two. So you know, it it was it was definitely there, and I was just happy to see some good stuff couple weeks off leading into this tournament you feel rested and and ready to roll yeah I mean I I think I needed it because I didn't realize you play Omaha the four play three playoff events that's four in a row five days off and then I pretty much did four in a row because the one week off so I mean I it was it was eight out of ten weeks and I didn't know this know it you know so it was it was nice to be home and kind of be off off and kind of go to my club and see my coach and work on some stuff and just kind of get into a nice routine again. So um, I definitely was, my, one of my friends, the doctor, he says, Bernard's a real thing. So I definitely was at that Bernard stage. So Cool. Awesome. Thanks, awesome. MJ. Thank you. Thanks, MJ. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.